This demonstration will cover what is different and unique to the SCCC workflow as compared to the standard workflow presented in your classroom session. When you access the SCCC workflow menu on the right, you'll see that it's set up similar to the standard documentation workflow with some additional sections. These new sections include pertinent clinical data, which contains discrete data that's required for SCCC progress notes and is not otherwise available in PowerChart. Click on the caret to launch the SCCC clinical information form. From the form, you can populate CVP, SCO2 heart rate, sedation goal, pupil sizes, and GCS. There's also a tab on the left to populate vital signs if not done by nursing or if you need to update vitals at the time of the progress note. To complete the form and enter the data into PowerChart, click the green check mark at the top left hand side. That information populates to the pertinent clinical data section on the workflow and will populate under the appropriate system section in your assessment and plan. If the patient is on a ventilator, the settings are located here so you can check for accuracy and when it was last documented. The last 24 hours event section is also a new section in the SCCC workflow. Here you can type or use Dragon to enter any events from the last 24 hours. The Residence Exam Comments is another unique section to SCCC. Here you may want to use the Dragon command SCCC Macro. After completing all areas and reviewing your information, the final step is to click on Create Note. From the drop-down, you should choose Progress Note SCCC, and then title your note SCCC. Notice that the template is different than the basic progress note. Automatically included in the note is the number of hospital days, surgical procedures, and code status if there is any. Data entered in the last 24-hour field is populated, as is the residence exam and plan. There's a free text field at the bottom of each system section. Here you can enter any additional comments and plan for the appropriate section. In pulmonary, the vent settings are included in your note. Cardiohemodynamic includes heart rate, BP, CVP, SCVO2, cardiac enzymes, and the h, &H trend will populate. In the abdomen and GI section, you'll get in the pertinent labs, orders for stress ulcer prophylaxis, and the current diet order. In the renal electrolyte section, you'll see the weight, a weight change, and the last eight hours of urine output, as well as any Foley orders. Hematology, you'll see the coags and the VTE prophylaxis. The wound care area includes a free text box for comment. In the infectious disease area, you'll see the WBC count and any active antibiotics with the number of days on each antibiotics listed. You'll see a list of the central line and number of days those have been present. And on the right, you'll see a populated list of active diagnoses, INO details, and a list of active medications. The clinical protocol and use section is where you can place an X under any protocols that are currently in use. At this point, if you're a resident, you should save and close the note. On rounds, this note can be reopened by the attending or fellow from the workflow and any elements that may have been updated can be refreshed within the progress note. Then the fellow or attending may add their attestation statement and plan of care. When the note is finalized by the attending, they can sign and submit.